I'm Brenda Quintana coming to you from the Beehive. Today I'm going to show you how to make this sweet thank you card using the Paisley's and Posey stamp set and the layering ovals framelits. This card is kind of cool because as you can see right here, I use the pretty petals embossing folder. I only used it part way on the card because it didn't fit on the full way. And then I just added some ovals and a little banner and it makes for a really easy thank you card. So let me show you how to make it. So first we're going to do some big shotting. So I have my big shot here and I'm going to be using the crumb cake note cards and envelopes. So let me pull out a note card. And because we're going to be embossing, I'm going to remove the top part of my platform. This is the thin die adapter and we want to be working just on the actual big shot platform. And we're going to be using the Pretty Paisley's embossing folder. So I'm just going to open up my embossing folder here. I'm going to slide it into the side of the card. I want to be about a quarter of an inch in from the center score line. Then I'm just going to make sure that my embossing folder is centered from top to bottom so that there's the same amount of cardstock on the bottom and on the top. Then I'm going to put down a cutting plate on my platform and I'm going to put in my embossing folder and then I'm going to take my other cutting plate and position it on top. Make sure you don't shift your embossing folder and then I'm going to run this through. And here you see the front part of the card is now embossed. Now we need to cut the ovals, so I'm going to bring my thin die adapter back in and then I'm going to put down one of my cutting plates and you're going to need a piece of mint macaron cardstock and a piece of Petals and Paisley's designer series paper. Then you're going to need the layering ovals framelits and I'm going to use the second largest scallop framelit and that's going to go on this mint macaron piece and then I'm going to use the third largest smooth oval on the designer series paper piece. And I can run both of these through at the same time. And here's the scallop oval and here's the smooth oval. Now we're going to create a piece for the greeting. So I have a piece of very vanilla cardstock here and I've cut this piece to three and five eighths inches by one inch. And I'm going to use my banner triple punch here. I'm just going to slide in one end of this very vanilla piece and give it a punch. Then I'm going to bring in my Cajun Craze ink pad. And I've got this greeting already mounted on a block. It says thankful, grateful, blessed and I'm just going to ink that up and I'm going to stamp it. Actually I'm going to turn it around so the banner faces to the left and I'm going to stamp the greeting pretty close to the end on the right side. It's sticking a little but I can just peel it off like that. Now we just need to glue everything together so I'm going to use some Tombow multi-purpose liquid glue and I'm going to take my designer series paper oval and I'm going to put a little bit of Tombow on the back of that and I'm going to line it up on my scallop oval so that it's centered and when I like how that looks, I'm going to stick it down. And then I'm going to kind of see how this will look on here. I want to make sure my oval doesn't cover up any of the embossing. And that looks pretty good. So I'm going to put glue on maybe two thirds of the back of this oval on this side. And then I'm just going to put it into place like that. Then I'm going to turn this around and I'm just going to cut off this end here like this. And then it lines up nicely with the edge of the card. And then all we have to do is glue this greeting on. So let me take a little bit of Tombow on the back of here. And this just lines up with the edge of the cardstock and I'm going to keep it centered like that. Then to fold the card I'm just going to turn it over and fold it along the score line and I'm going to use my bone folder 
just smooth down the fold so that the card lies flat. And there you go, a really pretty thank you card that has some pretty little details on it, but it's not at all hard to make. All the supplies you'll need to make the sweet thank you card are available for purchase on my blog. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Bye for now! If you like this tutorial, be sure to check out all the free with purchase tutorials available on my blog. The Rolos Pumpkin Wreath and Ornament tutorial is just one of the exclusive tutorials that you can choose free with a minimum purchase in my Stampin' Up! store.